Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to discuss about how to send ISS code in a foreign university. So to those, so you have to go to any browser, then type sending access code. Go to university, just enter. Then this uh, British Council website link will appear. Then you have to click on this link. And this window will, app will be appeared. Then you have to scroll down. I scroll down, then you'll find the ETRF request form. Just uh, click on this form and you have to wait some time based on your internet speed so it's loading and and finally the form appeared this is the form uh, and here we see uh, some questions enter your instructions enter your full name here so you have to basically what you need to do is that you have to follow on the outline that you already provided during your IELTS exam that is you have to follow your test report form so here we see the candidate details here from you have to use the same name that you put here as we know these names are according to our passport so uh, here we see some important point like our name, candidate number, exam date, and some other point like test report form number. These are the main informations we need to uh, use uh, to fill up the ETRF form. So let's move to ETRF form. So as, at first we have to enter your full name. I'm entering my full name here. Then enter your email address. The enter your candidate number. This is the number basically what is provided during the test day. So uh, before before the start of the test date, you will get this number. Your candidate number is available in your test report form. Here is the candidate number 004 something like that. So 004 dot dot dot. Candidate number, the number must be a valid number. So you have to put a valid number. Enter your contact number, your phone number is here, of course, put plus 880-675-436-456 for Bangladesh. You have to use plus, plus 880. Then you have to enter your ID number, exam date. So this is basically your passport or NID number. So this number is also available in your ETRF form. This is the name candidate ID. That is, that is basically your passport number. So you have to write this number from here. and then enter your exam date you can select the date from here in the date that you appeared in the exam and next you touch this to select the types of, type of examination computer delivered 
then you have to select when your listening reading and text were scheduled between 8 am to 10 am or 1 pm to 2 pm between 5 pm to 6 pm this is basically you have to match it but the time will not be the same as that but you have to uh, focus on when your exam has start basically it has start at 10 am so you have to select between 8 am and 10 am after 1 pm you have to select between 1 pm and 2 pm and so on so you have to choose your exam area i choose here the chart program receiving university address you have to put the receiving university address uh, if you don't uh, know the address then you have to go to the university website and find the address available in their website this, if you uh, didn't provide accurate address is in this uh, website in this link or in this box then it will not hamper your outstanding process because uh, later we will see uh, we will uh, fill up a better option so that our IELTS score will definitely send so you'll find this address in the university address and next you have to select the department then select referral and electrical engineering department A student reference number or file number this is the number available in your test report form so here we see the number is available here test report form number 20BD0040 so you will get this number in your in your IELTS test report form etc then Please select the country of the university where you want to send this course. So this is the main point. You have to select it accurately. And after selecting this country, then the, another main point, university selection. If you, if you select this university accurately, then the address provided above. If this address is not correct, even you will uh, the university will receive the test score without any hamper so i would like to send a score to university of central florida here so i have to go to university of central florida that starts with u so university of central florida graduate studies here it is then your next task is very simple just submit it after submitting it you don't think that your tax is over because basically british council process this etrf within 10 to 7 days but it may happen that they will not send your scores due to enormous amount of request so you have to follow it up you have to mail them after six to seven days that you send an etrf request to them then they will send you another mail uh, and about uh, no uh, about your uh, dates or they may want to uh, know some information it may happen that they just send you a hi hello message but in reply you have to told your problem in details and you have to discuss this or you have to report them that the urgency of sending you test scores then they will take necessary steps otherwise it may happen that your test scores will not be sent within even 20 to 25 days so follow-up is very important to ensure sending test scores i hope you understand it thank you
थैंक यू एवरीवन